We have gathered together here to witness a Christian wedding. Let us join in the celebration. We are friends, and we are family. But this afternoon, we make up a community to worship God and to witness this wedding. Just as this beautiful setting reminds us that there's a whole world outside of this place. There are whole ecosystems living and interacting with each other right around us. And we forget that there's more going on in our marriage than we realize. In part, this is because your marriage continues a story that began when you were part of other families. Those narratives have been handed off to you, just like they were handed off to your parents from their parents. These two families have come together to produce something new, and it is wonderful. Thirty years ago, two people um, created a place, you know, local by here, that um, brought family and friends together. And in their wildest dreams, I don't think that they would ever think that their granddaughter, um, also known as number one, would be getting married here today. Over the years, I have seen Catherine grow so much. Catherine is passionate and dedicates herself to the good causes that she believes in. I have watched Catherine develop a strong faith and she and Brian have been on a journey together with God since their relationship started. <laughs> it's like, that sounds great, actually. The ultimate test in the family is if you survive a Sunday night dinner at Grandma's house. You get asked a lot of questions. Catherine, you, well, clearly you survived. Everyone liked you. Uh, including myself. You loved my brother, which is most important. You make my mom and dad happy. You make me happy. You're great to be around and hang out with. I've imagined what I would say to you today since it all began. I knew I wanted to marry you from the moment we met. One thing for sure is that you've loved me more than I've ever deserved and it has changed me for the better. For that reason alone, I know life together will be rich and full of adventure. I know that the challenges will always let us go deeper and that our ups will only ever outshine our downs. I love you and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> When I sat down in that empty seat <laughs> next to you almost six years ago, I had no idea that I was standing down next to my future wife. I'm sure most people don't think that when they grab an empty seat at McMurphy's. <laughs> and from that empty chair to this moment, you've put my life on a trajectory that I never could have imagined. I promise to give you my eyes and my ears, my full attention, whether it be in a moment of sadness, excitement or the simple details of your day. I came across this quote, um, love is but the discovery of ourselves and others and the delight and the recognition. And I found my best self in you. I know marriage will be a challenge, but I believe that as long as we continue to see each other, ourselves and each other, our love will never end. Mr. and Mrs. Brian Englishman. I am so thankful that God brought Catherine and Brian together. Your relationship inspires me. 
And Brian, you treat Catherine like the light in this life that she truly is. And I am so happy that you are officially my cousin-in-law and I love you both. Cheers. first um, started dating Brian she was telling us how uh, I met this guy and how great he was he loves to hike he loves to uh, camp uh, ride bikes all the things that we did and he's a skier I'm like well you, you had us at skiing Brian that's what that's what we love to do so the, the important thing as Kyle has mentioned as well that you know, how important God is into your life and we think that's the, really the foundation of any relationship and any marriage as well. So that was something that was really, we felt thankful for.